Welcome to Lake Livingston Village. We're about to pass the main office. Beautiful main office. Grounds are well kept. They often hold barbecues here for the subdivision. And uh, right underneath that cabana, there's two double doors. And uh, they're open six days a week. The number is 936-566-4272. This is definitely a family atmosphere type subdivision. Everybody's happy that buys into here. Everybody is. And these lots are getting harder to find, so definitely uh, give us a call. Uh, today, I've got some great property that I'm going to show you. This is our only current double lot that we have in the subdivision. We've been selling land for around 20 years in Polk County, and everybody knows us as being land sellers. It's what we do for a living. We don't have any other jobs. We've sold over 250 lot numbers in this subdivision, so we're pretty much experts on what we're selling. We only sell good titles. Uh, we don't sell properties with liens or judgments. You can get a great cash transaction with us, and you can start building your house tomorrow. Today I've got a great double lot to show you. These are lots number 259 and 260. They're located on Naughty Pine. That's with a K. K-N-O-T-T-Y-P-I-N. The lots have all utilities that run down the road. They've got sewage, water, and very, very, very cheap to tap into these utilities. It's actually about 40 or 50% less than anywhere in the county. So I'm going to show you these two lots today, and I'm also going to walk up the street. It has one direct neighbor, retired, quiet, wonderful people. Really, really are. I don't hear dogs barking. I don't think there's any kids on this street. It's absolutely the quietest street in the subdivision. As you can see, uh, this says lot 258. 259 is on the other side of this. And then on the other side is lot 260. Take a walk with me. Each property is about 40 feet wide. That's going to give you 80 feet of width. The depth of these lots are about 100 to 105 feet deep. So between both lots, you have about 8,000 square feet. Why is it important to have double lots? Because most people put travel trailers on. Travel trailers are really no more than 11, 12, 13 feet wide. You can clear a 30 foot wide path right down the middle of these two lots. And you can still have the trees on either side to give you that extra privacy. Really nice. As you can see, the rebar has been found showing that these are the precise location of the lots. Always know what you're buying. When you buy from us, we make sure we find the properties. There's no mistakes. So here is lot 260. So from here to that other stake, we complete our double lot. So it's 80 feet total. One great uh, advantage of having a double lot. You see, the association is really, really cheap in this subdivision. They're $25 per lot. They cover trash pickup. You don't have to outsource. The county doesn't do trash here. So if you were living anywhere but this subdivision, you'd pay around $35 a month to have your trash pickup. Not here. For $25, they pick up your trash. Well, why is it important? Why is it advantageous to own a double lot? Well, simple. You get the second lot for free. So you could own two lots and pay $25. Or you could own one lot and pay $25. You get one lot for free. So without a doubt, owning two lots is the biggest bang for your buck that you can get. So you're basically paying $12.50 per lot. So you can't beat that. Uh, you can put individual residences on both lots. You can put two travel trailers. Uh, you can put a renter on one. Do with what as you please. Uh, the minimum site built is 620 square feet. All the other subdivisions in the area are at 1,100 square feet. So you can put a small cabin on here if you want. One great uh, characteristic about installing a, a travel trailer is that your taxes don't go up. The county does not assess your taxes and raise them for having a travel trailer. That's really cool. The taxes on each lot run approximately $45 per year. So I'm going to say both lots are going to run you $90 per year taxes. If you put a travel trailer on the lots, your taxes don't change. 
that's a really, really uh, cool benefit to buying into Lake Livingston Village. So stick with me here. We're going to walk the lot. And by the way, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the boat ramp section. And I'm also going to show you a special section in the subdivision where you can put your RV while you build on this lot, while you develop your lot. There's a place for you to stay. See, this is a great asset uh, that a lot of people don't get with other subdivisions. There are full service RV and campsites in this subdivision that you can, for a small price, uh, you can just call up the front office, say, hey, I'm going to stay there for the week or the, for the month. It's got full utilities. You can back your travel trailer on. And every morning you can get up. And from within your own subdivision, you can come to the street and start working every day without ever leaving your subdivision. That is just unbelievable. There's no other subdivision in the area that has these attributes. And I'm very, very proud to make this possibly lot number 252 that we sold. Anyway, thank you for the time you spent, 423 Buy Land. It's just like our website, 423buyland.com. All right, people, check this out. There's the left lot. And, of course, here is the right lot. Beautifully staked out. Neighbors immaculate. I believe they're retired. Everybody's retired here. So, uh, nothing against kids, but I don't have them, and I got a great dog. I don't even hear dogs on this street. So we always pride ourselves in showing uh, what the neighbor looks like. And this neighbor goes to the next street, which is really convenient. Now, if you want the same, well, guess what? We also own the single lot behind these two. That's for if you want a bigger purchase and you want to spend more money, you want to do that. We don't normally advertise triple lots because, you know, money doesn't grow on trees, that's for sure. And we find that uh, most people um, want to put their money into the development. But if you want three lots, you want to have that ability to go from one end of the street to the other, possibly drive through, call me and negotiate on all three lots. That's what I'm here for. As you can see, there's nothing built across the street. And aside from the neighbor to the right, that's uh, the end of the street and it turns right. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful lots. Flat ground, flat as can be, no flooding whatsoever. None whatsoever. Uh, to the right of the property, as we're walking down the street, uh, the next neighbor is probably 80 feet away. Now keep in mind what I said in the video. There's your center lot line. Now look, if you, if you cleared right down the middle and you were to leave, let's say, from here to here uncleared and you were to leave from there to there uncleared, you have that extra privacy. That's the benefit of owning a double lot. It doesn't really matter, in my opinion, because I know the people on the street, they're great. I mean, it's so quiet here. A part of me says, why waste the money? You're not going to lack privacy. But a lot of different uh, types of abodes. Here's a neat little cabin that they got, a little two-story cabin. Uh, here's a single wide to the right. And the next resident is way down there. So that's about it. As we come back to the property... You can see the, uh, hopefully you can see the, it's bright out, so I don't know how the shade's going to cast on it. You can see the, the uh, three survey markers. There's a rule of thumb I go by. If I can walk through a lot, it's relatively easy to clear. Relatively easy. There's always work, blood, sweat, and tears in anything that you do. But if you look at this property, I can pretty much find a way to make my pathway easily walking through here. So, just to give you an idea, uh, I can cut that little bush, that bush, this, this little grouping of trees, and I can clear the front probably a couple hours. And as you make your way to the body of these lots, you can see how it widens, and you have little clearing sections here. I mean, there's a possibility somebody cleared the underbrush a long time ago. Uh, here's the far right lot. You can get an idea when I tell you it's easy to clear. That's not a problem. Uh, that's not a problem. Uh, I might clear these lots and uh, do something with them. Um, I'm not sure. 
but we always pride ourselves in walking these properties for you guys. We know you come from a long way away. And if I can save you a trip, if it's not what you want, I don't want you to waste your time and trouble coming up here. You know, everybody has their own agenda. Uh, just looking at this property, it's, it's really awesome. Here's about the lot line right here. As a matter of fact, uh, see that flag? It's going to run. Right about to here. It's going to go all the way back to there. So look, I can, I can walk. It, it even gets even better as you get to the back of the property. This is nothing to clear. Uh, great straight oak. The back corner. There is not a big oak in the center. There's one that's rotted, so you don't have to worry about that. You can break that up with a shovel. Uh, so really it's just this little bunch at the front here. And I would say you could pull an RV right through there, angle it, and just back it right here with a little vision. You could see it all coming into play. Uh, I would take these two trees out because they're simple. All the stuff in the center is nearly cleared out for you. Um, I'm going to go to the uh, back of lot 200. And if you saw my video before, we own this single lot behind this double. It's a perfect T. It's a perfect T. If you look to my left, you'll see a uh, pink ribbon there. You'll see a ribbon there, right? That's lot 259. That runs. There's my one lot that I'm showing you on this video. And then from here to there is, I think it's lot 260. Okay, now this is my single lot. I just finished clearing this. We're not sure how these lots are going to sell. Because of the plotting, it's a perfect T. It's kind of new territory for us, but I'm starting to get calls on people that like the idea of pulling a travel trailer on a newly cleared single lot and then having this nice big 80 by 100 backyard defense in. And we're not going to split up the double, so please don't ask. It doesn't make any sense. Um, but you can see the flag for the single runs down there. And, of course, that perfect T formation right there. Um, so if somebody were to buy three lots... They can put a rental unit there if they wanted to. And they could uh, put the travel trailer here if they wanted to. And you can rent out travel trailers. They rent as good as anything you'll get. You'll get about 400 a month for a travel trailer. I'm pretty sure on that. But uh, easy clearing. This is, a, this, this is much easier than the one I just did. So if you're interested, please give me a call. We want, we're motivated to sell. We want to sell these properties. Thank you for your time that you've spent on our webpage. It means a lot to us uh, since we're kind of mom and pop outfit. We think big, but but uh, it's just Yolette and I. We do the best job that we can. But if you have any more questions, call me, 423 Byland. Thank you. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Here is the designated spot in the subdivision for lot owners with RV hookups and a little swimming pool and some cute little cabins uh, for a very minimal fee you can talk to Karen at the front desk and she will um, work something out with you you can stay here with your RV and here's there's one person already this place is never full up there's always available spots so you can see this person is in an RV they're a lot owner maybe they're developing their lot maybe they're waiting Maybe they're working on it. Who knows? Really cute little park. I wanted to show this to everybody because this is a this is an asset. I had a customer develop a lot once, and he utilized uh, this RV section while he developed his lot, and it worked out really nicely. He stayed here a couple of weeks. You've got some picnic tables there. You've got a small swimming pool, I believe. The maintenance crew does a super job at maintaining these areas in the subdivision. Really cute. To my left, right here, you can see some empty RV spots not being used.
Got a picnic table, a little charcoal grill. You can see the uh, electrical hookups right there. Real quiet. That's what I love about the subdivision. Really peaceful. Over here, you've got one, two, three, four cabins. You can rent those cabins by the night if you don't have an RV. I mean, they're real basic. You can see, you can see they do have uh, two air conditioning units. You may have to bring your own bedding. It's not a hotel, but really, uh, really nice to have. There's no other subdivision that has these attributes. And of course, there's even a swimming pool, especially when it's hot out. So, um, this is just a little quick snapshot of the RV spots. Really handy. Now, on to the uh, boat ramp. Okay, here we are at the designated boat ramp section for all lot owners. And uh, you can get a key, it's a lot owner. Just go to the front office. They're constantly maintaining this subdivision so nothing uh, is left to be fixed. Here's where you will back your boat in. Probably the most important aspect is that pink little building right there. <laughs> nice to have a bathroom facility by the boat ramp because if you're on a boat you don't have to go home to uh, well, take care of things all of this land belongs to the boat ramp section so it's a great little park area to take your dog we take our dog here occasionally. We have him with us today. And it's a great little uh, fishing spot. There's a gentleman in the far corner. He's fishing. I don't think we're going to bother him too much. Uh, this lake is the most beautiful lake you've ever seen. Um, it has more coastline than the state of Maine from what we've been told and what we've read over the years. I don't know who actually walked the coastline, but. Here we'll go to this side. Really nice. It's a beautiful morning. It's 8.15 in the morning. And it's, it must be about 82 degrees. It's not too hot. And you can see the open water. It's about 300 feet away from here. There's the open water. You don't have to take your boat through uh, canal channels to get to the open water. That is really, really important. There's some subdivisions that you'd have to go a mile or two in order to get out into the lake. And then, of course, you're hitting low spots. Not here. It's got beautiful uh, depth here. You could back in a large boat. And, of course, uh, you can fish here, too. A lot of catfish tend to group in this corner here, from what people tell me. And, um, but, and these are uh, really beautiful waterfront houses on either side that you're looking at in front. And there you go. There's a little barbecue there. You can picnic here if you'd like. But, uh, well, this is a wrap, so I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you very much for the time you spent in giving us the opportunity to sell our lots to you. We thank you kindly. Call or text us seven days a week at 423-BUY-LAND.